a social activist, a Vietnam vet, and a progressive theater artist walk into a bar. No, no, that's, that's not how the story goes. Honoria, quietly drawing strength from her truth, is making its world premiere at Pure Theater. Here to share more about this production is their in their 19th season is artistic director Sharon Gracie. It's great to have you. Thank you. It's so nice to be here. It's about to tell a joke, <laughs> but it is it has comedic elements to it. Hundred percent. It's there's two things that I would say about Honoria, quietly drawing strength from her truth. It is, I'm going to say three things. It is incredibly timely, it is very smart, and it is very funny. It's really interesting that, that group of people, so they all come together for mm -hmm. what purpose? Why do their paths cross? Oh, it is a delicious conceit. They come together because a family is going to divest itself of a, um, a one of its really expensive holdings, which happens to be a multi-million dollar building or piece of property of questionable orient, origins, which has been in the family for generations and generations, they're going to give it to a quote unquote right candidate. Uh, so these individuals, these groups come together to plead their case as being that right candidate. Right. right. Uh, now this all takes place in the South? It does. It takes place in a, an urban center that I would say probably is about the size of Charleston, South Carolina. Oh. Again, we kind of go back to is there a way to uh, make amends for a legacy that is, is um, perhaps destructive and definitely imperfect. Is there a way for us to to make amends today by our actions today? So that's kind of what we're exploring and what Honoria has been tasked with doing. Interesting. And there was a quote that stands out, I just needed, still need, to connect to my past, mm -hmm. even if that past is not pretty. Right. What does this mean exactly? Right. I think just that. I think that one of the things that's really terrific about where we are in the world today is kind of looking at what is our legacy and how do we communicate that legacy and what responsibility do we have for that legacy? And are we able to look around just in globally and in terms of, of the communities in which we live to say it really is imperfect yeah. and, and the treatment of our, our fellow man has been, in many cases, heinous. So while we may not be particularly responsible for that type of behavior, within our own agency today, what can we do and what's our responsibility, if any? Right. And I think that's what's really, really impressive about Honoria and hopefully all the work we produce at Pure is that we're just asking you to consider the question. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. And just to, for our audiences to understand Pure Theater, mm -hmm. where your home is, mm -hmm. and what you've been producing, yeah. you're looking at 20 years yes. later this year. Congratulations Thank on you. that. Thank you very much. You started the company with your husband. I did, with Rodney. Yeah. Yes. And so uh, Pure Theater, in a nutshell, how would mm -hmm. you describe it? I would say that pure theater is your best night of streaming. Whatever show you happen to be watching right now that just that you just cannot wait to watch the next episode, that is pure. Uh -huh. It is it is timely, it is smart, it is it is broadly accessible. Yeah. And I think if I could have any wish for theater right now, I would say even if you think that it is not for you, look again. Mm. Look I like again. that. And it's yeah. live and it's in person. It is. It's live and in person. And especially now, everybody, this is the time to go back to the theater. It's really Ex exciting. Yes. Let me ask you, by the end of the play, do we reconcile who gets the property? We do reconcile who gets the property. And we also really nicely tee up that question of what did we do, mm -hmm. if anything, and was it enough? Oh. Did we make a difference? Were we effectual in the change that we were seeking? Sounds all so, very yeah. self-reflective questions yep. as well. Sharon, I want to thank you so much for joining oh, thank us. Thank you so much for having me. Of course, we're going to have the details of that production and when you can see it and where you can see it. We're back after this.